So this is the fourth video, and what we're going to do here is we're going to take all of our UV elements and drop them inside the box. So I'm just going to select everything, and then to make sure I've collect, selected all the UVs, I'm going to hold Control and right click and go to To Shell. Then I'm going to hit R and I'm going to scale this down. I'm going to place this off to the side here, and at this point I really don't need this UV check checker on there. So I'm just going to, again, select everything. Right click, assign a new material, and this time I'm going to call it, same thing, Lambert, but I'm going to select dumpster underscore diffuse. Now, later, you can always change it to a blend or whatever, which we might do. Okay, so what I want to start to do is look at the most important elements in this, this scene. So, this, is, um, this front part to me is probably the most important. So, what I'm going to do is select these UVs. Let me go ahead and make sure that I have all that selected in object mode. To shell, and I'm just going to place it here in the corner. Just sort of organizing this out, and I'm giving it a little bit more space than everything else. Then I'm going to move on to the side. And I'm just sort of working it out by order of importance. And I'm trying to leave as little room between each set of UV or each UV chunk as possible. Alright, here's the back. And again, the back is really, to me, it's not necessarily that important. So I'm going to scale that down just a little bit. It's going to be covered by, um, you know, a wall or what have you. I'm going to shift these guys over a little bit. So it gives my back a little more space. All right. All right, I'm going to move on to the wheels and stuff. And I'm just going to place this guy here. And again, this is all tentative. I might find a spot that I like a little bit better. Or that I find reads better, like down here. And again, these are so small that a lot of uh, texture detail doesn't necessarily need to go into these guys. They could almost be a flat color. Here is the bottom of our dumpster. Again, I'm just going to place it here. I don't really care much about it. Here's the other side of my wheel. Alright, I'm going to scale this down. Now I'm trying to leave a little bit of space because I plan on um, doing a bunch of signs for the dumpster. Alright, here's the interior. Again, I don't know um, really if it's even going to be seen that much, so I'm giving it its own space, but not, not much of the scene. And then I'm going to grab this guy here. Okay. 
Here is the lid. Here's the inside of the lid. I'm going to scale that down just a bit and give the top of my lid a little bit more space. Okay, and that gives me... So then you want to look at your overall UV and be like, okay, now, is it? are all of these pieces sort of fitting the best way they possibly can? Right? And so... You can say things like, well, let me move this piece up here, and will that allow me to move this back? You know, it gives me a little bit of space going this way. Is this piece that important where I need to scale it? Do I really need this piece attached? Then you can go in there, you can do things like cut this edge. Again, because this piece isn't necessarily You know, it's so tiny in comparison to everything. Can we do something like this? You know, and that frees up a big chunk of space here. Same thing here. Does this need to be this big? Again, it's such a small asset on our scene. And I'm really trying to give myself more space for signage, which will have text. And I want to give it like that chunk. Same thing with this. I've got a whole section of space down here. Maybe I can rotate this and just place it in here. Again, freeing me up with more space. Would this guy be better served rotated? Yeah, that even gives me even more space. So again, you're trying to uh, look at your real estate as a whole and try to eliminate as much, you know, of the spacing, the black spacing as you can. Okay, so once you have that, let's go ahead and do a, uh, let's combine the sections in here that are unwrapped. So you're only looking for the pieces that are unwrapped. Okay, so we get something like this. So I'm going to combine this. All right, and I'm going to save this. Now, the reason why I combine those pieces is when I do an ambient occlusion, I only want to bake it to one map. These guys don't have any unwrap on them. So it's not, I don't necessarily have to include them in my ambient occlusion. All right, so let's go ahead and Go to Rendering, Lighting and Shading, and turn on Batch Bake Metal Ray. Okay, so it's missing for me. So what I have to do is go to Windows, Settings and Preferences, Plugin Manager. Look for Maya to MR, which should be the last option. And I want to turn on Auto Load so it loads it when it goes in the scene. So now when we go in there, you'll see Batch Bake Metal Ray. All right, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make sure the occlusion is the setting. And I want to make sure that it's, um, if you don't see these options, you have to turn on Use Bake Set Override. Occlusion. We want to do Raise 64 is fine. My map is going to be 1024, that's OK. I'm going to go with a JPEG. Bake to one map is checked. I'm going to go ahead and convert, and then I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so you end up with something that looks like this. So now what we can do is we can look at reusing some of these assets. So um, again, this is unwrapped, but when I delete it, because I left it in there, it left me a nice, ambi nice shadow. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna go and shift right click on my, or actually I'm gonna delete everything that is not, um, isn't that part of the actual textured model? Okay, you can see here's the unwrapped model, and that's what the ambient occlusion looks like. So what I can do at this point is separate it and start looking at the individual elements 
and I'm just going to center pivot on each one of these guys and duplicate them. All right, let me select these four. Duplicate, bring down. Again, um, a little bit better way would be actually to just use the duplicate special and invert it. All right, select this guy. Control D. Center pivot. Flip it. And if they're a little off, it kind of gives it character. All right, so let's select all of these guys. Have to focus on it to make up this wheel. I'm going to shift right click combine, center pivot, and duplicate this and just place it towards the bottom. It looks like I didn't unwrap the bottom face here, so um, and that's okay. I can always do that later. And in all honesty, I don't know if it really matters. All right, so, so I'm going to shift right click combine all of these, control S to save that. And in the next video, what I'm going to do is show you guys how to sort of combine this.